All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to round one uh, here on Community Matters Cast. This two-headed is drafted. Two-headed drafting. Is it two-headed draft or two-headed drafting? I don't know. What are we calling yeah, it? I don't know. We'll, we'll decide. We'll figure that out. By the time this video gets posted... You'll know we'll the title. You'll know the title. <laughs> and you'll laugh at us being silly here. Mm. So, uh, seem yeah, this is fine. fine. We want to hit our black eventually. We, we do want to hit our black. Um... I also don't want to hit too many more lands, so it's kind of a clunky draw. It's a bit of a clunky draw. Doorkeeper holds up the ground. Do you play the Phantasm on turn one? I don't see why not. Yeah. I think that's fair. Eh, <laughs> not a great draw. Not a great draw. We're on Cryptic Command, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah, there's just a lot of fun spells hiding in this deck, which is the, the fun part. Yeah, I, we're just going to get to do things that our opponent is going to be very surprised at. Mine's done. All right. Blue, nice. green. So this could be kind of similar to our deck of Wallsy. Similar to what we... Hey, that's that's a good draw. That, that is a good draw here. Um, well, let's go ahead and get in with Phantasm. And even though we don't really get to do anything next turn, we get to Doorkeeper Mill. Yeah. So that's not even the worst here. And Doorkeeper's depending on what they're running, should block pretty well in the early game. Mm -hmm. Oh, and if they're blue-green, uh, they might also be on the Walls plan, which... Mm -hmm. Let's see what they got here. Oh, four mana. Jungle Wall? Or Jungle Barrier? Is that it? Ivy Elemental. So why, Wait, why, why make a 3-3 three, three Ivy X? Elemental? Yeah. Oh. See, that's one of the nicer things about Doorkeeper. I think you... Oh. Yeah, I think we have to play that here. Yeah, I think we definitely play that here. Star Cup is coming tapped, yeah. It does come in tapped. Ah, uh, right. So we can't have it all. Um, but yeah, I think we just go ahead. Yeah, we this. still get one mil. We do. <laughs> we do get one mil out of this. And it makes uh, the Blizzard Spectre into really, a really good creature. <laughs> a very good creature. Always yield to that. This is going to be... Yeah, we this might is gonna be go for this the is, mill win. Yeah. Glimpse the Unthinkable is just going to be such a great top deck. Oh, at, it's going to feel so at good. At every point of the game. Right now our opponent's like, are they just mono blue? <laughs> and basically we are. Basically. Oh, so that's no! why. Yep. They went against the... I guess because now they can just attack through the yeah. go for. So that seems that seems like a good line. Just hold that up, I guess? Yeah, I, I think, think we, I think we're fine taking the Yeah, I think we now. have to take the hit. Um, That is frustrating. That was a good line from our opponent. I like that. I mean, I think we just go ahead and... To spend that over casting the Blizzard Spectre this turn? Mm, that's true. I think yeah, we okay. cast the Spectre. Yeah, that's fair. Um, it does feel a bit like the, not playing the Star Comps earlier, going for the Mind Crank was maybe a bit greedy because mm -hmm. we could have done that otherwise, but. It's true, yeah. Yeah, I think we just go ahead and play the Spectre here. Yeah, I think we need to commit to the board and Definitely. just try to be faster than them, which is tough with Mill, but. Yeah, it'll be a bit tricky to do. Um. I mean, this will be good for if we can survive that long. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we'll can go. give up some chumps to survive that long, too. We can. Um, I think we hold off on chumping this turn. I agree. Because if we, you know, find our claustrophobia or something. Yeah, claustrophobia. Actually, a mnemonic wall would be, mnemonic wall um, would be great. Would be solid in blocking that here. Search for tomorrow. I wonder if they're three color. Uh, they might be. We'll find out. Nope. Uh, if they were, they would have definitely gotten their third color. Yep, so yep. they're just pure. Ooh. <laughs> So now Mnemonic Wall is not really <sighs> good. But Claustrophobia is great. They're kind of all in on this. They're very all in on this wall. Do we let it hit one more I time? I think we still let it hit. Yeah. Yeah, Claustrophobia would be an excellent draw here. Oof. Um, well, I guess we go Star Compass. And Suspend. Even... Well, um, actually, do we go Ancestral Vision and then do one mil? Yeah. I mean, it's, I don't can, know that the Star Compass is really pushing us. help us anymore. No, I mean, because really. we have six mana of it. You know, next turn we'll get to play six. Even if we draw the Djinn, which is our only... That's mm. our most expensive card in the deck. Yeah. So, yeah, let's go ahead that, and... Just, that makes sense. Um, and then we'll go ahead, pass... Cryptic Command would be amazing, too, just for the bounce effect yeah, of it. the bounce effect would be really nice. It's a shame we didn't see any repeals. Yeah. Um, sure. Do you want to take another hit, or do you want to try to... No, I think we jump here. Um, I think we do chump. I think it's a tough call because it's not like um. I mean, we're going down to six. Yeah, but it's not like they're going to burn us out from six. Well, no, but they go right. 
one more hunt the week on this. It dies. They get in. They get in. They, and it, that's game. Yeah. That makes sense. I don't know if they're running the third hunt of the week. But, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure because. Yes or no? With top deck. I, I don't know. I think, it's like, I think it's a close call. I personally wouldn't make the I, I think the longer we can wait to get to Ancestral Vision, mm-hmm. I think this puts us a turn closer to Ancestral Vision going off. Yeah. But I mean, I guess they couldn't, they wouldn't have a target for Hunt of the Week. But if they can bu- pump it, they still lose if you don't draw a creature. So, like, we still have to draw a creature no matter what. But, yeah, I think I wouldn't chump here. But you wouldn't chump? All right. All right. No. We'll go with your plan. We'll go with your plan. No, no, no. No. You're the pilot. You get the final say on uh, these okay. decisions. Okay. Well, too late for that now. So We'll okay. see if it bites us. One, two, three, four. Okay. I mean, we're, not, a, yes. we're not dead yet. Good-sized threats. So what do we have? An island. Good. Good. Good old ancestral vision. Oh, man. That's what we needed to hit. Uh, and now we, we still have to hit. chump with the doorkeeper. Yeah. But, I mean, I think we just have to play it here. I don't yeah. think we have another option. Opponent's um, doing some fun stuff. They're doing some fun stuff. I mean, we also had a... I mean, they double hunt the week was a pretty solid yeah, it was a good draw for them. Uh, we'll go Star Compass. And... How many counters does that still have? On it? Three more. Wolf. So yeah, we definitely die before we get to Ancestral Vision at this rate. I think Mnemonic Wall is one of the better draws, as you're saying. Yeah. Jump here? Yeah. Seems fair. Yeah, mnemonic wall would be. I mean, we don't we don't actually have a target for it though. Yeah, it'll just be to be a blocker. Uh, Cephalid broker. That is at least something that is not that big of a deal. Yeah. We need a good draw. And nope, that's dead. the game. All right. So that explains playing the Ivy Elemental for three, though. Uh, yeah. Pretty yeah. Good, I think. Yeah, I like the way our opponent navigated that. That was interesting. That was good. Um. So what do we bring in here? So I guess, rather, what's not good on our deck against them? Like, let's start with that. I mean, double hunt the week for Ivy Elemental is just, that's a... Yeah, I mean, that is kind of a good draw. Yeah. I think, I don't know that there's much we want to change. I I like maybe the... Bewilder is not good, but maybe we do bring in an Ojitai's Breath against this I think so. Yeah, I think Ojitai's Breath. And what do we take out? That's the tough part. Mm. I don't know if we take much out. I don't really see anything that I'm like, yeah, we should pull that. Yeah. Same. So do we actually just leave the Ojitai's Breath out then? It might be. we run 41? I think we would want the Ojitai's Breath in. So I mean, it's not like we're fast enough, though. Like, buying the, the tempo from Ojitai's Breath is not going to do no. it for us. No. It, it, either we're going to be in a place where we're fine and we don't need Ojitai's Breath, yeah. or Ojitai's Breath isn't actually going to save us. Much. Yeah. yeah, I think it's fair to just... All right, let's go ahead and submit as is then. Uh, we will definitely play first. Good, uh, good Yeah, solid opener. Go ahead and keep this. Double claustrophobia feels pretty. Yeah, we can. It's kind of like their double removal hand. Now yeah. we can feel like we're in the driver's seat. Um, it would be nice to hit an early drop. So we can play the angel or something. Yeah, like, yeah. It would be super cool to hit something small. Like one land and Jace's Phantasm go turn four, both of these guys. Yeah, that'd be sweet. That would be sweet. Turn 4 Blizzard Spectre is still pretty good, too. It is. Mana Leak could also oh, be fine. Shriek, Shriek Ice is great, too. Just All to right. start putting something out there. Mm-hmm. One, two. Mindstone again. All right. I think that's the best mana rock in this, uh, in this format. I would agree with that. I agree with that. Oh, get in for the one. We'll get the mill rolling. Get a little bit of mill going. What did he hit? Oh, Nature's Climb. Oh, okay. Oh, they must have boarded that in for, for the, the mind crank. Yeah, for the mind crank. And they probably assume trepanation blades. Mm-hmm. It's nice that they yeah, would assume that. It's actually really good um, that we milled that because 
over claustrophobia. That's one of the big blowouts that they could yeah get get us with. So I like the specter over the broker here. Uh, yeah, no, I agree. Now what do they have here? Aerial predation. I mean, interesting I'm, that they would burn that here. Yeah, that's we're pretty, f- pretty we're aggressive. They know we have a lot of flyers. Yeah. Uh, maybe they have multiple aerial, multiple predations. Yeah, but I mean, th- I mean, if if I were them, I'd be like, oh man, <laughs> yeah, exactly. burned that a hand too quick. <laughs> yeah, definitely Turned too quick. Um, I think you could take the one point of damage and the two mil. Yeah, the two mil, and at least see if the, we're going to cast a bit bigger flyer. Yeah, I mean, especially if we ever get to a point where we get to cast the angel as well. Pretty crown ceratops. Nice. I think we'd probably claustrophobia that. Um. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I'm not we're sure we're that worried about it yet, though. But that's fair. I'd rather them like invest something because they're probably going to hunt a week. We could make them Let's bounce. Um, <laughs> Is it better to make them bounce something here? I think I feel like discard's probably a little bit better. I I'm not you sure. Think bounce. Yeah, because here I guess I guess either way it, it slows them down on mana. It slows them down a lot because they right. either bounce their okay. only threat. Or they bounce mines, don't have to replay it. Or they bounce a land and they go back a turn. Yeah. No, that's fair. That's fair. Because especially, you know, discarding, they might have a land in hand or something. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's early enough that they probably have junk in their hand that they don't need. So what did they bounce? They They bounce bounce a land back. Uh, Cephalid Broker? Yeah. Seems good. We take a four from... Yeah. Which probably, we can assume it's probably going to be we take the five from it. They hunt the weak, killing our blizzard. Um, They've got to have it, but... They don't have to have it. No, no. But in that scenario, they would have to have had it for that to be the case. That's fair. Um, yeah, that's fine. Play the island back. I mean, it it does feel like probably Hunt the Week. <laughs> we, just, we know that they have two of them. But if it was, they would have done it before combat, yeah. so. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, no reason not. Well... Yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, because we still could have blocked here, actually. But it would be trampoly. It would be trampoly. Yeah, they would, um, I think but they would still They'd die. still lose their yeah. Ceratoc. So they're going to explore here, maybe, for Ivy Elemental? Yep. Yeah, good call. Um, so that feels like a good claustrophobia target. I agree. Um, do we claustrophobia it and attack with both of these guys? Or do we claustrophobia it and then um, yeah, draw two searching. and... Probably Doorkeeper and Star Compass. Are I like that. Yep. Block. All right. So get in with the Spectre then. Hmm. One thing to think about though, we might want to save either Doorkeeper, depending on what we draw. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. So that we can lose your Angel for five next turn. Yeah. I mean, we'll see what we draw. Yeah. Um, in this case, do we make him discard or bounce? Um. I think I like discard. I think pulling cards out of their hand is going to be. Hmm. I. I it. mean, uh, what, I don't know. What do you think? I don't do you know. Think bounce. If we bounce, we just we keep them at this mana. Is the only, that's the only advantage of yeah, it. That's fair. So I kind of like bottlenecking them. But okay. Uh, let's keep let's keep bouncing then. Maybe they'll because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> it, oh, it's very <laughs> annoying. It is very annoying. We have to them. so they bounce that again. So they go to five mana every turn. It kind of keeps them um, light on lands like we are. Hold this up and then tap no, let's later. let's do it now. No. Okay. We have because uh, we're gonna plan on claustrophobia, and we can also see if we yeah. So so I guess we do get rid of Star Compass Doorkeeper. Well, so we want, no, we can keep an island. Well, yeah. Do we want to keep? So we keep an island, and then we keep one of these two, and then that gives us two drop, three drop Angel. But what else do you want to discard? Because we have to keep an island. So I think we discard one, Compass. I get, I'm okay discarding the wall. The wall here. It's an 4 They're both at four power. Yeah, and it doesn't get anything back. It yet. doesn't really get I anything like that. back yet. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because in center sorcery, we don't have any of those yet. So, wall and compass. Yeah, seems seems fair. Okay, we could um, we could at least angel just this angel turn now. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the line. Yeah, that's the line. Um, so good doorkeeper and angel, and then I mean we'll get hit for eight. Yeah, unless we. You know, trade with the. Wait, I'm not. I, you know, I'm well. Or chump, yeah. Or chump, yeah. Um. If they yeah. have a hunt a week now. The hunt a week's come up. Yes. Um. And then claustrophobia feels all right there. Um, yeah, for sure. Was that a mistake not playing claustrophobia there on one of these creatures? I'm not sure that it was. I think this is fine. Because based on what they're doing, there they have to invest more stuff into their creatures later on. That's true. 
Wait. Um, I think we take it here. Yeah. Where do we jump? I'd be tempted to trade the angel off. You think trade the angel? Yeah. But trade the angel for Ceratok, probably. Yeah. That way, because we're going to take the trample damage anyway. If they have yeah. a trick, they have a trick. Okay. I'm fine with that. Um, and it does turn I think we're favored off a, of Ivy Elemental. Mm -hmm. I think we're favored in a long game mm -hmm. with our kind of dirtily plans. Okay. That's a very long time for them to think about that. So. Probably Claustrophobia the Elemental. Yep. Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. That is... Them not putting out another threat there feels super nice. Yeah. Because now Claustrophobia handles the only threat on the board. Mm hmm And we can start jamming. I mean, ish. Maybe we can hit him for four. Yeah, that's fair. Um, let's see what we draw here. See, that makes me inclined to, like, do Cephalid Broker mm -hmm. here. I think we do it at instant speed now. No, it's not like it's going to have to block. Yeah, I mean, I think I think we go ahead and get him. Well, what if we hit Mind Crank? True. Yeah, that is part of the. Yeah, I guess we should do it. I think now go ahead and tap. Yeah, to see what we see what we get. The looter, the looter question, right? Yeah, second Blizzard uh, Specter seems. Good. I mean, do we just pitch these two lands? I think we do. Yeah, yeah, everything. All the non lands are better. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go ahead do the Specter. Um, I think we definitely bounce here. Uh, think, with seven yeah. cards in hand, they're definitely gonna they're gonna have something yeah, that they're I mean, happy to like just toss away. Yeah, and they have three lands in play now because they had played a bounce land. Yeah. So making them bounce something is kind of it's annoying. Be, yeah. Uh, um, We're so just str stranding nonsense in their hand. Yep. Blizzard Spectre is is pretty fun when your opponent does not have flyers. Yeah. Well, and now we're gonna get to go second Blizzard Spectre. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Yeah, the double making them double bounce is gonna be really annoying. That's gonna be very annoying. And they're still them. pinched at five mana. Yeah. So four. Well, yeah, five mana because the the mind stone. Yeah. Um, but this will actually push them back even past that. Hmm. Um, take the four. Yeah, I think we take the hit. Yeah. Um. I mean, at this point, I have to assume they probably have a hunt the weak in hand. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, okay. So that's a claustrophobia the, target. That is definitely a claustrophobia target. The downside of Claustrophobia, though, is it makes the you have to bounce something way worse. Because now they know for sure what they're going to bounce. Yeah. So we just switch to making them discard. Making them discard is still good, though. Yeah. They just get to deploy a big threat. But I think we do have to Claustrophobia the Spider, since our only clock is the Spectres. Yeah. Um, and we can leave Mana Leak up, which is nice. Yep. Okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I think that's the line. And if we get scared of uh, the Ivy Elemental or something, we can... We can chump with the door. I yeah. think we probably next turn chump with the doorkeeper anyways. Yeah, this is kind of what I was hoping they would have. Do we like, mana leak the mana leak? I think we absolutely mana leak yeah. the mana leak. I was thinking, like, they left up the mana yeah. leak mana. It's nice to be able to leave up our, our own. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny. Tap enchanted creature. Yep. Good. All right, well. We should jam with everything. Huh? Yeah, I think so. Because, I mean, we only have one card in hand, and I think it's, I mean, that's a card we're probably going to want to play. Yep. So, I don't think, uh, LSV might be disappointed in us. Discard? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah we got to switch um, to discard now. Discard. Um, LSV would be disappointed in us that we're, we're not, not looting. <laughs> But, yeah, I think that is the right play here. I mean, it's one of our two removal spells. So we have to keep that yeah. no matter what. Um, all right, and then pass the turn here. Let's see, what they toss away? Tossed uh, a search and an island. Okay. So they're finally, we get to see what their six drop is, because they finally have enough. Yeah. The elemental, do we chump? Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. Do we chump here? Well, let's All see right. what their big thing is. What's the six or <laughs> six mana big, right away? Big Ivy Elemental. No, it's a bail up. Uh, I mean that's sure. Yeah. Um, it's a very chumpable threat you got there. So now we loot. Uh, do we? Yeah, I mean, what yeah, else? That's, that, no, that's fair. That's claustrophobia fair. would get in for. I guess because it is a kind of a choice because we put them on a two turn clock. If well, so actually, if we, so if we get in, then. Well, so we, I think we go ahead and claustrophobia anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think we go ahead and do that. 
Um, yeah, I guess we we well. So if we get in with both, well, if we get in with both, and that puts them down to five, and then it means the cephalid broker mm. would have to be able to. But then they like, can just leave. Yeah, this might be the only turn that we can attack with, with all yeah. everything. So I think we do have to attack with everything here. I think so. And that makes just our flyers lethal for next turn. They need to find an answer. Yep. And we're only going to take four down to four. Yep. <laughs> so it ends up being pretty close. What a game. Uh, definitely got a discard. Yep. Uh, down to one card in hand now, opponent. Blizzard, what is it? Blizzard Spectre is definitely showing how annoying that card can be. Yeah, let's see what they had to get rid of. Uh, two more <laughs> islands. So our so opponent had a lot of lands in hand. All right. Here we go. I mean, the nice part is, as well, we can, um, if we just draw another land, we can just loot right away, mm -hmm. and that, then we just, like, can hopefully dig for two more spells. Actual spells. What do we have? Ooh, that's good news. Well, I mean, they're digging, I have to assume they're probably digging... Aerial predation aerial or something. Predi yeah. Either aerial predation... Or hunt. Or hunt. I, my guess is hunt. I don't know how many aerial... Uh, that's a card that comes that came around. Yeah, you get those laid, so you, you get... This you can have two, two. Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess they did. <laughs> oh, that feels Woo! good. All right. What a silly game. That was a very silly <laughs> game. Um, oh, God. I mean, I think we just run it back. Yeah, I'm trying to think, is there anything... Like, Flyers are obviously very good against this opponent, so yeah. Sign of Ugin could be strong, just have more finishing but, uh, power. Yeah. As an overcosted threat, but we are kind of threat light. We are. Yeah, we could bring that in. Um... And take out a doorkeeper? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because it feels like we're not really on that. Yeah, we could even take out both doorkeepers if there's anything better. Because they're yeah. very consciously aware of needing to put four power out. Yeah. So the doorkeepers are just chumping. So then what do we put it? I mean, you know, actually, I don't know that I hate this card here. Um, with Blizzard Spectre, it's kind of funny. With Blizzard Spectre, yeah. You just you ensure that you get in. You get to do that twice in a row. See. Uh, it can also make it easier to cast the angel. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what. It and with mind crank, it, yeah, if we have mind crank out, that helps as well. Yeah, that's a good. That's a solid card. It's, uh, yeah, it's, actually, it's either that or like the breath or the, the breath. spell yeah. fist. Even, but no, don't we don't need another two. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think we bring in distortion strike. Sure, I like it. Um, unless we want to bring in Flusterstorm for, for the hunt of week, hunt of week. Yeah. It's it's tempting. I think that might actually be the better play here. Yeah. Yeah, let's share it. We're here to have fun. We are here to have fun. <laughs> We're here to cast bluster storms. <laughs> I mean, right, so when this goes off, right, would this be storm count two? So whatever they cast, yeah. it's automatically mm -hmm. like, like, yeah, and at one up. mana, right, they're not going <laughs> to, we have yeah. like a blue setting up, they're like, well, yeah, because yeah, there's no other one blue counter yeah. in this format. Um, so it's not that, like they're playing rare, against it. Yeah, they're not going to play around the fluster storm. And I feel like that could definitely be our chance to blow them out on a hunt the week or something yeah, like that. It could be uh, just a funny way to. Close it out. Good hand. Yeah, snap keep. Um, yeah. All right. I really hope we get to cast Cryptic. Well, there's the Fluster Storm. <laughs> we might get value out. Like, now we're assured to get value out. We're almost definitely going to get value out of it. Yeah. And then we can, like, get it back to the wall, mm -hmm. and then... So, yeah. question. Do you play a Shriekgeist, or do you wait a turn until you can protect it with Fluster Storm? I think <laughs> you should wait a turn. What? No, what? Like, because they'll aerial predate it. <laughs> I'm fine with them spending an aerial predation on this because and not our spectres. That's true, because then we two for one ourselves just to be, just <laughs> yeah. to be cheeky. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's nice. That is nice. Um... All right. I'm gonna laugh at the arrow predation. They did like that was a play of last game. That was well, we yeah, <laughs> yeah it was. But it, it wasn't. I don't think it was great then either. <clears throat> oh, there oh, you okay. go. That's a better version of uh, aerial predation. That's a better version. So now we just need to hit our land drops. Yeah. So. All right. Well, they're not gonna attack with it, so that's good. Uh, no, they won't. Yeah. And if we could just get some lands or something small to cast the angel, angel trades with it. Yep. It's a very good blocker against the Blizzard Spectres, though. It is. Annoyingly so. Well, they're also stuck on that. Or no. This, yeah. They could be. They could be. Wall of Roots. Well, now they're not. 
True story. I'll be surprised. I mean, they could attack the spider. I don't think they okay. would. <laughs> That's going to let us cast Sign of Ugin. It will. Next turn. Actually, yeah. Yeah, it will. Or just Mnemonic Wall to get it back. <laughs> uh, oh, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be awesome. Uh, and whatever we get to counter is going to be big. <laughs> get to counter a giant yeah. IV elemental. Oh, could you imagine, like, they play another land and then, like, tap they shrink their wall yeah. roots, yeah. Oh, Mana Dream's going to be sweet. Oh, it's now we're playing Mana And they're just so not... Right, like who the like who has mana drain? Yeah, right. Nobody. Here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Two. Come on, a little bit. Make this it a little is so larger. much fun. Oh. Snap up, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna buy it back later with mnemonic wall anyway. But that's fair. And this lets us cast something that's actually relevant on the board. Yeah, I mean, we'll be able to throw down. We could throw down actually because that would give us seven, right? Mm-hmm. We could cast Specter and Angel. Yeah, that's hilarious, and that's definitely the line. So good, yes. Oh, mana drain. Oh, mana drain. What a card. With an eye. Okay. Um, so we have eight. Do we go mnemonic wall? Mnemonic wall. Angel. angel. Yep. Get back mana drain. Oh, uh, yes. That's so frustrating. So our opponent then knows they have a one turn window to resolve something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so great. Do you want to just leave the mana drain up? <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to get angel down, yeah, I think. I think you're right. I think we want to get angel down. Probably. That's so sweet. Yes. Yeah, because um, they're stuck on lands, too. They're stuck on lands, yeah. Yeah, let's get that angel out. And especially forcing them to then trade with the netcaster is just going to be good. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's so, That's so cool. Yeah, and then second mana drain casts Sign of Ugin. Yep. Behind Bag Mana Drain is awesome. Yeah, it is. They might cast Ivy Elemental X4 here. I could see mm-hmm. them doing that. Um, they, yeah. Finally, they finally hit their land. Well, no, I mean, they had to bounce a land back for the act oh, okay. right? Um, so they've been, they've had four land option for a little bit. Let's see. I think. I thought they missed a land. Oh, they may, no, they definitely missed a land drop, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you might have actually been right to leave up Mana Drain. Because now they know that they have to resolve something this turn, but it's just going to be a Cephalid Broker, so we get paid off. Yeah. Yeah, that's... The only thing scary is, do you drop like a huge threat here that we don't have Claustrophobia for? But if you don't, then we're sitting pretty. Mm-hmm. And we can almost hard cast Ugin, Sign of Ugin. Yeah. Um, so hmm. let's, let's attack with that Angel. Yeah, definitely attack with the Angel. Um, I'm looking at, so we have five mana now. Let's see if they block the Spider. Yeah, that's fine. Nice. Yeah, so yeah. do we play out a Spectre or keep up Mana Drain? I think we keep up Mana Drain, personally. I like it. I mean, it's a, it's an annoying thing to do. It is. <laughs> it is. Um, yeah, let's do it. Because then if we hit a land, then we can do Scepter or Spectre plus Mana Drain. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah, any land, and yeah, we can do both of those. Um and it also just like wreaks havoc with our opponent's mind, mm-hmm. right? They're and like, we can, yeah, we can pay for mana leak if they want to try to sneak something through with threat plus mana leak. Yep, it's pretty funny. Yeah, and it is just annoying to play against, like knowing that we have a counter, right? And the best counter spell ever printed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go, okay, go sure. and dig it. Yeah, Post I mean, which is good. I mean, right there, yeah, they're helping us with our no right? plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're helping us out they're helping us find a way to close the game yeah that's funny I mean the funny part is right like anything we'd want to mana drain they're probably going to tap out to do mm-hmm. um, which means they can't even keep a like, mana leak for that so they're, they're automatically they're capping themselves by two mana let's see what they get rid of they got rid of a nature's claim and an ivy element ooh interesting that's a little terrifying, actually. You gotta have good stuff. You must have really good stuff. Um, well, we get in with our Geist. I don't think there's any reason not to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're just on keep up mana drain for think, a while. I think so. Yeah, I really just don't see anything else that I'd rather like. We're not in any. We're not under the gun at all. So we can kind of just slope slow it down. What are you doing? Aerial predation. 
we can fluster it, right? <laughs> oh <laughs> no, my god, no, no, no. We'd have to pay for the fluster storm. Well, you know, no, no. So if we fluster it, right, doesn't storm count go to two at that point? Yeah, but so they, they have two available. They got the oh, one. Oh, they have the wall. I mean, we could just do it to make them do it, but I don't, I don't no. see the value in that. Yeah. We could just mana drain it. Do we want to mana drain it? <laughs> no, because then they resolve a huge threat, right? I mean, they're still only at a few. I think we let them have this. Let them have it? Yeah. Okay. I think we let them have this and uh, lament that they had Wall of Roots out to pay for yeah. <laughs> a fluster storm. Yeah. Once each turn. Yeah, that's disappointing. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we just pass here? I think so. Yeah. Because once we hit another land, then we can do something plus mana drain. Yeah. And as we, we saw last turn, they're willing to not play anything. Yeah. Which I think benefits us in the long no, run. No, definitely benefits us. Because eventually we just want to play it so that they have to play something into our spell. That's what all I want to see them do is like, eventually you're going to have to play something into our spell. Mind crank? Yeah, I guess we can get it down. Yeah, go ahead and have it down. Um, hilariously, we can also find yeah, <laughs> Fluster can, Storm. We can Fluster Storm. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is so much fun. <laughs> this is the way magic was meant to be played. <laughs> <laughs> it's so goofy. It's so fl- okay, sure. I'm loving it. Oh my gosh. This is actually not a... Yeah, this is very funny. Because I think our, our win condition is, you know, draw a glimpse. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, draw a glimpse, draw a second mnemonic wall. Although if they keep brokering themselves, yeah, it, like a few turns, glimpse just wins the game. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly the game. that's the good stuff. Oh man! And it will be nice to get the specters down as well when yeah. we get a land. I mean, that's part of yeah. I mean, and the, that really is funny. We can just keep managing right up until until they make us use it. Yeah. yeah, I really think the onus is on them. They should have played a big threat like immediately and make us use it. One, two, three. Phantom Tiger? I think we let him have it. Yeah, let him yeah. stick up. Because, I mean, it. The yeah, it just still bounces yeah. off, and you just have to take two. Who cares? Land off the top is just what we need to see. That is what we need to see. Because then we kind of break the parody. Brutal. Very brutal. Um, we're not forced to play anything until next turn, though, no, so we're we can not. give him one more, one more slow go around here. <laughs> I can't wait to draw a glimpse. <laughs> Nineteen cards. Let's go, opponent. Let's go. What do you think they're digging for? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what their finisher is. If they just have no, they, it's impossible. They don't have any big stuff. They just want to be yeah. able to. Okay. Yeah, so we take the two. No longer are they helping our plan. <laughs> yeah. I guess they're like tired. Of, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I assume they are now like content with. Yeah, I mean, how can you not be happy with what you have in hand at this yeah. point? There we go. There we go. Uh, I guess go Spectacle? Or do we want to go our own broker? I think we might want our own broker, actually. Yeah. Because we can dig for our glimpse, or we can just make them draw. <laughs> I mean, it's not the time for that yet, but not it's also, yet. it's there. But, yeah, I think I think you're right. I think we go Cephalid Broker here. Uh, or do we go... Sp- because they don't have a reach creature, right? We mm-hmm. go Spectre. We have Mind Crank out. Yeah, I think we want the Broker still. Like it's it's close. Or or the Spectre also blocks their Broker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it might be this. Yeah, you're right. I like that because it also presents like a more of a threat to them. Yeah. So they'll, they'll have to react to it in that way. Right. I, just, I like the Broker for finding the the glimpse, but we'll get it eventually. Uh, yeah. And then. That'll be fun, because uh, that is our, our way to win this one. I don't think we I will say, I'm fully expecting them. They play one, they can go hunt the week for four, mm-hmm. um, and still leave up... Or, so they could actually play it now, and still leave up the two mana for Mana Leak. Mm-hmm. So I don't think we can actually play Mana Drain here if they go for something big here. So I think we're definitely going to see Hunt the Week. Yeah. So you think we just let it, let it resolve? I think we let it resolve, because we have another Spectre in hand. We could Fluster Storm and make them tap down some of their... Now they have Mana Leak back zones. Yeah, I think we're fine. I think we just let it yeah. resolve. Yeah, I think we're just gonna let it resolve there. Because um, the phantom tiger doesn't even grow. It doesn't grow. Ability, that, yeah. yeah, which I don't know if the opponent may not have realized because they still, wanted it to be at four. Yeah. They definitely wanted it to be at four. It gets to the wall. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Me too. We take another two. Another two. That's sure. And then we run it back. Yep. Yeah. 
And if we hit another land, then we have Fluster Storm up next turn too. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see if we ever get to cast this Fluster yeah. Storm. <laughs> I mean, they were definitely representing Mana Leak there. Mm -hmm. That was... Yeah, no, good read. Um, I mean, I think that's a pretty... Spe yeah, Spectre yeah. again. Spectre hold up our counter spells. Yep. They're going to be so mad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can do it Yeah, <laughs> in three to, with the Mana Leak. Yep. So, the, I mean, so the only actual downside about doing it for the Tiger, um, where if they do that again, then uh, the Tiger doesn't actually die. Mm -hmm. Right, just because the counter. No, yeah, it's true. Sense. One, two, three, four. Here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> what? Well, that's interesting. Oh, that's so good for us. Well, it doesn't trade. Yes, it does. No, it, it goes no, no, to 3-3. Three, three. Oh, no, no, never mind. Sorry. I, no, no, I was actually... Sorry. But, but we can... I definitely yeah, thought it was going to fight. I think yeah, you should yeah. manage right now. No, we're definitely managing right <laughs> Because now we have right. a fluster storm. Yeah. <laughs> and we get to have a counter <laughs> war <laughs> and limited. <laughs> That's it, yes! This is so much fun. Yes! Our opponent, this is such a grown test for our opponent. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> there we go. That is when you send a message. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till we get our cryptic command. <laughs> Right now, that's no it. one expects Fluster Storm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This format is so much fun. All right, put the second uh, Fluster Storm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You click the copy to put it on the stack and click on it to... Uh, yeah. Because uh, that's the ability that makes the copy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then um, <laughs> put all our copies on <laughs> countering their Hunt the Week. Yeah, I guess same targets? Yep. Um, or so. actually, no, I think it's actually better to make it... Counter the hunt the week, weirdly. You think so? There's some, there's actually some wisdom with the way you put fluster storm, but I don't know it, so. Okay. Um, I guess there? Yeah. Okay. That's so crazy. Yeah, I need to watch more, like, legacy years. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is just not an interaction I normally see. Mm. Uh, Especially on Midgo, it's clunky. Yeah, it's very clunky on Midgo. So, those of you watching that know how you're supposed to use fluster storm, please tell us. <laughs> How are you supposed to order those uh, triggers, though? I should say. <laughs> it's great. It's really funny. I guess. Although, actually, do we get the mana off mana? Yeah, so that's that? what the problem was. That's um, why I should put this. We don't get the mana. We don't get the mana. That was silly. That, that was, was really silly. No, that was that was a punt. That was a major punt. That was a huge punt. Um, and that just fizzles. Wow, that was silly. Understanding the stack. Good news is. We're still pretty far ahead, but yeah, that was bad. Yeah, that was real bad. We could have been—I mean, right? Cephalid broke. We could have really won that. Out. Yeah, that counter war instead huge. of only slightly winning that counter war. Oops. Uh, yeah. Oops, indeed. Let's see. So now we can just play the scion. I mean, I think we. I mean, we go ahead and get in. Yeah, get in for. Um, really, it matters. The mill matters more, and then we play our scion. Um, let's see, discard or bounce permanent? I think we make them discard. Yeah, I think so. So, do you think it's Sign of Ugin or do you think it's double Cephalid Broker? Um, it might be double Cephalid Broker. I think it might be double Cephalid Because then, broker. I mean, that's just six. If we draw yeah. a glimpse, that's a kill. Yeah. Yeah, so all we need to do now is draw our finisher in five minutes. To yeah, well, break. actually, I mean, it's a kill in two turns, actually, if they don't have an answer for the Spectre. Mm -hmm. um, because they draw... So they'll draw one more. I guess it's... Yeah. Because we still... I mean, that's this is basically six mil that yeah. we're representing here every turn. Yep. Um, so they have to have some kind of answer for the Spectre. And then both brokers, because even the brokers by themselves present a three-turn mill clock. Mm -hmm. Pretty funny stuff. That is very funny stuff. Lesson learned about the Fluster Storm, though. Fluster Storm is so hard to... Yeah, yeah that was weird. So that, in that we, should, we, we should have gone same target was the... Yeah, we had to counter the Mana Leak there because we needed the uh -huh. Mana Drain yep. to resolve. Let's see, we got six. Oh. All right. I mean, that's... That's good. Um, I think we play Scion and Pass. Yeah. yeah. And then I think 
We might broker like point one broker at ourselves, one yeah. broker at them, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, this is nice because we have double block then on the river rail. We might even point both the brokers at ourselves just to dig to the glimpse because the glimpse is the glimpse wins. By itself. Yeah. yeah, no, that's fair. Actually, that's a very good point. The glimpse is our win condition, um, and they might still not feel like they can even attack with the the flyer yeah. since they don't want to mill six. Yeah, we might wait until our draw step though to do the broker. Just because then if we just draw another land, then that gives us, we get to keep two spells when we go to dig. As it is, only king to keep one. Like, I'd rather have... I think we got to do it now, though, because... Well, that's fair. They're not something sick. Like, it's a turn to... Because we don't want to miss, like, one whole... That's true. Well, let's see what they play on. here. Yeah, this is going to be a big IV elemental. Big IV elemental. Okay. I think... I really think we might point the brokers at them. All right. I think that just gets us there. Do we point... I, sure, yes. let's do it. Yeah. All right. I mean, that's a three-turn uh, clock, right? Yeah. I think they're both good lines, you know. This one, you take a little bit of the guesswork out of it because yeah. you you don't have to see the uh, glimpse. Forest and forest. I mean, we do smooth their draws. We do. But it's a chance we have to take. Yeah. I mean, they've already gone through both Hunt the Week. We've only seen two Hunt the Weeks, right, in any given mm -hmm. game. Um, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, dude, just, they're yeah. tapped out. Just fire it off. Yeah. That's so funny and so obnoxious. That is incredibly... Wow. And then make him draw with Cephalid this turn so we can yeah. kill him on our turn. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a goofy game. What a game. Jeez. Oh, this format is so funny. Oh, oh, man. Wow. Well, that is how we... If we win with this deck, that is how we win with that this deck. That is actually... That is how we drew it up right there. Wow. What a game. Got to do Mana Drain twice, got, got to Fluster Storm. <laughs> I mean, we messed up the Fluster Storm, but... Uh, yeah, I was double double it. Broker. Because yeah. they're really... I don't think in Limited there's any reason to do that. No. Target it that way. No. But I, I don't actually know what it is, but there's some logic about where you're supposed to put those targets oh, in case there? they have okay. another counterspell or something. But Well, like like Ruta said, if you guys have a better way that we should go about ordering that, let us yeah, know in let the comments below. let us know how below. we're supposed to use Fluster Storm. I mean, uh, we need the book on Flusterstorm, like oh, yeah. Stephen Menendian's book on Gush. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and we'll see you guys back here for round two. All right.